Hey yo. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Fuggy and welcome back with some more WWE Champions. Uh, today's video is just going to be me. I actually have some loot to open and we're also going to play some of the game mode as well. Now there is the Mega Superstars packs in the store at the moment, but they're for Dude Love. And if I'm being honest, I don't really want Dude Love. So I'm just going to wait in the off chance that we do get them. I'm just going to wait for the next one that's going to be in however long is left on that Dude Love one. Like a day and a few hours. So once, that, once that's out, if it's a good one, we'll spend the cash on that. But we still have some loot to open now. Um, what's this we need to claim first of all? We need to claim Level Up Faction Gifts. That's pretty good. We got some faction gifts. Boom. Rewards claimed. You've claimed one rewards. Thank you very much. Um, we also have, as you can see down here, we have the loot the loot to uh, get. We got 400 of these for... Let me see what which one it was. Just in case you guys don't know. It was one of the live tours. Let me see if I can find which one it was. It, pretty sure it was... Could have been the Bray Wyatt in this maybe i think it was this one and bray Wyatt was the boss and for beating him i think we got those 400 yeah so if you guys are playing the live events once you get to here and if your cards enough good enough to beat bray Wyatt by the time you get here you will get the opportunity to open another pack so uh make sure you guys do that if you didn't know about that uh, we're going to go in here and claim this loot first and then we'll open that pack and see what we get in it we've two bags to open here so we may as well open them two faction bags get special faction side gifts yeah, that's all good we actually need some acrobat stuff and i will show you why in just a second what are we going to get we got training points and oh i thought it was that was it but now we're opening them separately and uh, we got two 10 gauntlet blitz tokens so not too bad and not too shabby we're actually going to have some gameplay in today's video as well guys by the way but um for some reason that's not showing up properly it's just showing up with a white background i don't know why but um if we go to my roster this is my current roster you'll be able to see if we click on seth rollins for example he is ready to be enhanced but we are short three of those skipping ropes now so we need to play we got two of them from the smackdown event that they brought out so we um we need three more of them to be able to enhance that seth rollins so without further ado let's get what you guys are probably waiting for let's get this premium superstar can we get somebody good we can get look at the, let's have a look at the possibilities once again we can get Bubba Ray Dudley Kofi Kingston Alberto Del Rio Undertaker uh, Xavier Woods Kalisto Sheamus Booker T Dolph Ziggler Dean Ambrose Ryback Seth Rollins Big Show King Barrett Braun Strowman Dean Ambrose Dolph Ziggler Darren Young Goldust Triple H Kane Luke Harper Neville who we actually got last time uh, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins again, Stardust, Hytus O'Neill is it? I'm assuming, and The Miz. So, we want one of those two star ones. We want that Bob Ray Dudley or The Undertaker or someone like that. So without further ado, let's get this pack open. Let's open it right now, see what we can get. Are we going to get something good? Come on, champions, be good to me. Before we open this, guys, make sure you hit like on this video. If you have not already, if you're enjoying the video, please smash that thumbs up button. It really lets me know that you guys are loving WWE Champions. And to everyone who doesn't like it, there is still Supercard on the channel. So don't worry about that. Just enjoy the content. Here we go. Actually, before I open it, comment below in the comment section. What, what do you think I'm going to get? Don't cheat. Don't skip forward and tell me, oh, you got blah, blah, blah. Hey, I got it right. Don't lie. Don't cheat. Imagine we got Eddie Guerrero. Oh, my God. Uh, but you can't get Eddie Guerrero. Not yet, anyway. So, I'm going off on a ramble here, guys. Comment below in the comment section what you think I'm going to get. Because we're about to open this right now. Here we go. Come on, guys. Wish me luck. We got... It's a gold star. Big show. It's not great. I'm gonna be honest, not really, not really what I wanted. Uh, the big show, we wanted one of those two star ones, but yeah, we got the big show. We're gonna add him into the lineup. Yeah, if we go to roster, we'll see his stats. What stats he on at the moment? Where is he? Whoa! Oh, it had a seven hundred thirty-four. No, it's three hundred thirty-four on the big show. 
so if we click them and as soon as it loads and does his little intro thingy big show there he is looking all great look at him the big show right so he is 334 so if we were to max him out it would cost 24,000 blah, blah blah um we will not train him up just yet should we train him up a little bit? I do have a good decent amount of coins. I don't know. I, I won't train him up just yet. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section what should I do. Who should I spend the coins on? Let's go back into the roster. Let's have a quick look. Who should I spend the coins on? Should I level up Dan Neville more? Should I level up Kevin Owens more? Should I level up the Big Show? Should I, should I level up this fused rock? That is a fused rock. Or we have John Cena here we can level up. We have Roman Reigns we can level up. We have a lot of people we can level up. So what do, you, what do you guys think I should do with all those coins I have there? Let me know in that comment section below, please. But without further ado, let's get into some gameplay for this video. Um, What should we do? Should we do the tour or should we do the road? Um... Dean's Daily, see we played that, I don't think we played this, no we haven't, so, Dean's Daily, free loot, who's the first match, The Rock, so that should be an easy first match, okay, so let's take on The Rock in the first match, here we go, me versus The Rock, should we use our big show, uh, why not, let's just use the big show, I guess, yeah, let's use them. If we lose, we'll just come back with a different superstar. Uh, it's just a way of saving our better superstars. So there's no point in using your top superstars if you don't have a lot of them, which I don't. There's no point in using the top ones against the lower rated guys. Just because you don't get the extra crates, in my opinion, it's, it's you're better off just saving your better cards for the later ones. Think of it like money in the bank on WWE Supercard. If you play WWE Supercard, you want to use your worst cards at the start because the higher up you get, the better cards you come up against. So, or better characters you come up against. So, that's what essentially what we're doing here. So, purple, black, and red are the gems that we're looking to break right now. So, he needs yellow, blue, and black. So, we're going to go... We're only going to go here. Yeah, if we go here, that'll give us yellows and purples. Not that we need yellows, but it'll stop him from getting those yellows. So, let's go there. That's a good start. Big show with the uppercut. So, now the rock's turn. What can we do now? We need, like I was saying, reds, blacks, and purples. Do we have any of those on? It doesn't look like... Oh, we have the purples down here. I just spotted. Um, Yeah, let's go with the purples again. Get that finishing move up and ready. Still don't see any blacks or reds available to us just yet. Still not. And he's hit me with a heavy attack there. 204 damage. Um, what can we do now? I don't see any purples this time there's definitely no blacks and there's definitely no reds what it looks with so if we if we go with yellow here maybe or could we go with the green i'm gonna go yellow because the yellow stops him from getting it that's my thinking behind it so we're gonna go yellow and then we have that purple there if he doesn't use that he's using one of his signature moves the samoan drop it's gonna be a bit of damage off us so we're okay to go for these purples over here now, but we also have the reds available. I think I'm going to go reds because we need the red more. The purple will level up on our next go because you get a little bit of this after every go. If you guys didn't know, it does go up a little bit even if you have broke the gems. That's why we haven't broke any black gems and that's where it is at the moment. So um, yeah, we're going to go with the reds here. There we go, and see that's full up, and now on our next go, that purple one should be full up as well. So we should be able to use two attacks on him. There we go, see? So it's my go now. I'm going to use the red one first. Never use your finisher first. Always go through them if you can. So there we go. What a spear by the big show. We're going to get to go again here and use our finisher, which we're going to do right now. Yeah, let's go ahead with that. Oh, submission gem. It's a submission finisher. I don't like these submission finishers. So we're going to go ahead and pick this gem right here, I think. There we go. So he has to either get enough points to escape or break that. That's the way I think it works anyway. Still kind of figuring this stuff out. You managed to escape, you obviously got enough points. So now he has a finisher, which I'm assuming he's going to use. Now he's pinned me. 
So we need to get out of this. We need 69 points to get out. So let's just go here. That should be enough. Easy. And now it's back to Argo. We don't have any moves to use on him just yet. So we're going to go ahead and we might go with these blues right here, I think. I don't see any purples available. I don't see any reds. Oh, there we go. There's some reds. Let's use them. Why not? And then purple, hopefully, in the next go, if he doesn't take those off us. Oh, no, we're going to go red here because, as you can see, there's four in a row right here. And that's going to be a big score for us if we get these reds all in a row. See, it knocks out the whole line. And then we're able to knock him out with a clothesline. And then we have that red all full up now. But he has a finisher. He's ready to use the rock bottom. Did it do much damage to us? It did do a good bit of damage to us, actually. So let's try kick out here. Let's go for the purples. There we go. We're going to go for the... If we break the whole line here, I think I might say, oh, I might save that. Going with these greens should be, let me win. And then if I go with the blacks here, that should be a good score. So I'm going to go, the greens are going to help me kick out, I was trying to say, by the way. And then we're going to use this. And then when we actually have to make, break gems, using that four in a row will be a big score for him to try kick out. So basically, when your opponent... When you have your opponent pinned, whatever damage you do is how much it takes for them to kick out. Unless they're in danger mode and you do a finisher, I think that ends it usually. So now, like I was saying, we have the opportunity to actually move on the board after using our two moves. So we are going to indeed go with the four here. And we should break the whole line. There we go. And we should do a high bit of damage to him right here. So he's in danger mode right now. So now it's his turn. And as soon as we get a finisher or indeed get a high score we should actually pin him so that should be fine we should come out with the win here hopefully anyway although he's getting me dangerously close to the end as well so we're going to go purple here again i think yeah we're going to go purple the question is do we go this way or this way i don't think it makes much difference so let's just go with let's go with that one and do 138 damage so we're close to getting that purple finisher up he's hit me with the spine buster though He's close to getting his finisher as well. He's actually probably closer than me. Which is a little bit worrying. We still don't have anything there. I don't see any four in a row options. I could be missing them, but I don't see any. So we may just go with the purple right here. Yeah, let's just go here. I see the one up there, but I prefer to go there. Now it's his go. He has a finisher. Now this could be a problem. He could pin us here. Which would not be good. He has pinned us. And yeah, we can't kick out. So yeah, that's unfortunate. We actually lost. That was unfortunate. So we're not going to bother um, retraining the big show or reusing the big show. You have to pay 50 cash and there's just no point. It feels like his health all the way back up. And for us to end in one move with the big show there would have been a bit silly. So um, that's how you actually lose at WWE Champions. I was, you guys seen what I was trying to do, but unfortunately we just couldn't get that, um, the uh, finisher in time. So we're going to actually try again with a different superstar. So let's just use a better superstar. Have we got anyone that's leveled up highly enough? Let's not, see, I'm going to have to stick that big show into the faction. What's Triple H looking at? Triple H is 379. Triple H should be fine, although he has, a, see this flashing? That means he has an advantage if you click on that. It means he is an advantage, but I think we should be fine. Triple H should beat him, so we're going to go ahead and say, and it gives you a warning, by the way, you can click hide to show, or never show this again, but I always just leave it on, why not? Um, Just in case you forget in a particular circumstance where you think it may make a difference, but I'm hoping because Triple H is like 50 points higher than him, maybe 60, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I'm hoping that's just enough for us to just beat The Rock and for us to be okay and not to worry about having to play this again because I don't want to, like I was saying, use my better superstars right at the start because then we have to use health packs to revive them and you only get so many health packs every so often. So purple, green and black is what we're looking for this time, guys. We do have the crates here available to get, but I usually avoid them unless... I either A, need to get them, or B, um, I'm finding it easy against the opponent and I can afford to get them. Because if you take, so for instance, if I use the crater, I'm not going to pretend to do it because if I actually even move this a slight bit, it will count as my turn. So, um, and like, actually, if I move that but the other way, uh, <laughs> there's a way I've showed you guys, it will only count as three damage. So it'll only do three attack damage, which is pretty bad. Um, 
So like I was saying, black, green, and purple. I do not see any blacks. I do not see any purples or green combinations that we can go for. So it's looking like yellow is the option here. Um, yeah, I only see this yellow option. There's two. There's this way or this way. But I think we are going to go this way. There we go. Now it's his go. He got those reds, which I obviously missed. And we're going to go purples right here. There we go. He's going to go there. So what can we do now? Hmm. Is there anything we can do apart from crates, actually? I think we can only get crates here. Look, I may be missing something here, guys, but I'm pretty sure we can only get crates there. So there we go. He's going to go there. So we're going to use... Uh, one of our um, signature moves, flying DDT, or flowing DDT, because often you have seen Triple H doing that maneuver in uh, WWE, I'm sure, guys. Okay, uh, red, obviously. Which way, this way or that way? Let's go this way. Here we go. Boom, big uppercut from Triple H. He's going to use his signature move, which is a spine buster, which Rock actually does. Um, so there we go. Oh, he's got four in a row. That's bad for us. He's going to do some damage here. Obviously, guys, the better cards you come up against, the more damage they will do to you. That's why you're better off using your better cards. So we do have a purple option here. Um, Don't see a green option. I don't see a black option to get a combination. So let's go with the purple one right here. See what he's going to do. He has a finisher here, or not finisher, sorry, he will have a finisher in a second, but he does have a signature move, which is not good. Simone drop from the rock, he hits that Simone drop. What's he going to do now? He has a finisher, he has a finisher, this isn't good. We may lose again, unless we can sort our act out pretty quickly. Um, So if I move this up, we get yellows and blacks. That's probably the best move here, although we do have the four in a row. I'm going to I'm gonna skip the four in a row and I'm going to go blacks and yellow because it'll help us to our finisher. I may be making a mistake here. Like I was saying before, I am new to the game. So if I am making a stupid decision by doing this, let me know in the comment section below. Absolutely ruin me in the comment section below. Criticize me as much as you want, but I'm going to go for this. Let's go. Here we go. That should do a good bit of damage and we should be close to getting our finisher now. Although he has a finisher now, he does have the rock bottom. So he rock bottomed me and he's probably going to, okay, so what do we want to do here? What do we want to do? Ideally, do want to save that. So if I can get out with just this, well, I can't, maybe the blues. Yeah, Like I was saying, I ideally want to save that. See, we haven't got our finisher yet. It's not ready. So we're going to use those four now. We're going to use these greens now. Let's go. Get the whole line. And then we should have, there we go, two signature maneuvers. And we hit a big here, 472. So on our next go, we should be able to beat him because we have the whole row of moves now. So there we go, purple. Let's go, that should be the flowing DDT. Here we go, there's one move out of the way. Then we have the green, which is a spine buster, which Triple H does do. There we go, big Triple H spine buster. And now we're going to hit him with the finisher, I think. There we go, which is submission for some reason. So what do I want to make this submission, Jim? You want to put it as far away as possible. He could potentially get here with the purple. So I'm going to make it this black one right here. There we go. Let's make that the submission one. And now we should, hopefully... Why is he doing this chokehold submission, by the way? Oh, I won. There we go. And then the loot's fill up with how many bars of health you have left. And there we go. We got some extra loot from the combinations at the end. Oh, we got some big scores there at the end. And Triple H managed to beat the Rock victory. We'll come back and get three stars on that when we have a better superstar available to us. Obviously, we did now, but that was just for getting... Um, Oh, we got some microphones and we got some loot to open as well. So we're going to open that loot now. And then that'll probably be it for this video, guys. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button on this video. If you want to see more of WWE Champions, the more likes I get, the more I will upload. WWE Supercard is not going anywhere, guys. So don't worry. I don't know if I said already. Well, massive shout out to today's champ. It is Danilek Supercard. I 
think I said that at the start of the video. I'm not 100% on that, so if I didn't, I apologise. But big shout out to Dan Lex Supercard again for being today's champ. And you guys know what to do by now. If you do want to be today's champ on any future video, all you have to do is comment, share, comment in the comment section below to be today's champ. All you have to say is, hey Funk, can I be today's champ? Or today's champ, please, can I be today's champ? Any variation on that, and I will check you out for potential of being today's champ. But here we go, let's claim this free loot before I do. Guys, if you could once again hit subscribe on this channel if you are not already, click like on the video if you did enjoy it. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram to keep up to date with anything Supercard and WWE Champions related. Links to Twitter and Instagram will be on your screen and in the description below. So let's click this free loot and see what we get. We managed to get ourselves 10 cash. Not bad, not too shabby. Happy with that. Cash is always good to have. We're going to go back to loot and then we're going to go home. And that's it for this video, guys. No Mega Superstar pack opening just yet. Like I was saying, we're going to wait until um, this time next limit expires and then hopefully to bring out more which is what they did with the aj styles we're still looking for faction members by the way guys um as you can see we actually have a request here so what i've been doing oh let's help out our faction member here what i've been doing is i'm going to be perfectly honest guys i've only been accepting people that i feel like are going to have been playing so if someone's requesting and their guys don't look that high we're not going to accept them because it looks like you haven't played the game or don't play the game that much. We need people in the team who play the game often because they're available to heal request or to heal our guys when we heal request. Like I'm going to heal request Big Show now and hopefully we can get our guys to uh, smash it out and heal them up straight away. So let's view the request here and see if he's good enough to join the team. He is. Let me just sit up so I can get a better look at it. 640 506 518 so unfortunately we're looking for something a little bit higher than that guys we're looking for at least one superstar over 700 maybe two in 600 around that mark so i'm gonna have to reject him i'm sorry about that if you're watching the video i do apologize but by all means request the game and if you if you get slightly better superstars please do request as often as you like i don't know how the system works if i reject you if you can't request again please let me know if that's an issue but um, other than that, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.